Yo. <laughs> Hello. How are ya? It's Nick here, your English fluency coach. I'm sure you know me by now. And I'm back with some more videos. Today we're talking about pronunciation. Eight difficult words to pronounce. These are very difficult words that most people have a problem with. So what are they? I'm going to help you with them today. So just give me a few minutes, five minutes, and let's practice these words to improve your pronunciation and sound more natural. The first one is mountain. Mountain. So the word is mountain. You can say mountain or mountain. The difficult sound in this word is the ow sound. Ow. And especially when it's followed by an N for many people. Ow. So the ow, we open the mouth quite wide in a kind of circle or almost like an oval shape. Ow. Ow. And then we have the N. Ow. So with the N, you've got to touch the tongue at the roof of your mouth. Aun, maun, practice that, maun, mountain. There's two syllables, mountain. Then we have tun, which is the schwa, the weak sound, mountain. But often the T is silent in this word when we speak naturally and fast. So we say mountain, mountain. That is such a big mountain. Are you going to climb that mountain? What? Number two is clothes. Clothes. Yeah, a really difficult one, isn't it? Many people say clothes, clothes. But actually, this word has one syllable, just one beat. Clothes. Cl the difficult part is the TH followed by the S. Clothes. So you stick the tongue between the teeth for the TH, clothe, clothe, th, th, and then you have to pull it back and have the S, clothes, clothes, clothes. That's a really great clothes store, clothes store. She wears really beautiful clothes. Number three, world. World. Difficult one, isn't it? World. This is an er uh sound in the vowels. Er. Uh. World. And then you have the L. L. World. And the D. World. World. It's a big, beautiful world. I want to travel around the world. Number four is a similar sounding word. Work. It's er, uh, isn't it? Work. Work. What do you do for work? Excuse me, I'm doing some work. Number five. Walk. Walk. So this is a slightly different sound to work. With work, you have the er uh sound, er, uh, work. With walk, you have or. Can you see the difference in my mouth? Er, uh, or, er, uh, or. <laughs> so work, walk, work, walk, walk. We don't say the L, we don't say walk. We just say walk. I have to walk to work today. I have to walk to work today. I'm walking. Number six, town, town. So this is similar to mountain or mountain. Again, you have the ow sound with an N, ow, ow, town town. Which town do you live in? Let's go to town and buy some clothes. 
We're going downtown where the folks are broke. We're going downtown where you know Bobo. We're going. Number seven, involve. Involve. This is difficult because it has the V sound in it. Involve. Two V sounds. V. So with the V, 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 we have to bite the bottom lip with our top teeth. V. And vibrate. V. v. If you have difficulty with the V sound, practice in front of a mirror. V. Make sure you can see the teeth, the top teeth, touch the bottom lip. And V. V, 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 boom. Involve. Involve. What does this job involve? I'm sorry, I don't want to get involved. Involved. So the second V is quite soft. Involved. And the last one, enthusiastic. Enthusiastic. This one can be difficult because of the TH sound, the soft or the voiceless TH. Enthusiastic, 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 five syllables, enthusiastic. Stress is on this one, enthusiastic. He doesn't seem very enthusiastic, does he? I wasn't so enthusiastic about his idea. All right, great, there we go. So, eight commonly difficult words that you can master. Let's go through them. Mountain or mountain. Clothes, clothes. World, world. Work, work. Walk, walk. Town, town. Involve, involve. Enthusiastic, enthusiastic. Practice these eight words. Keep practicing. Make a sentence with them. And let me know how you go. Tell me how you go with it. Make a sentence even. You can write a sentence. But the most important thing is to practice your pronunciation. So, I'm going to see you soon. Don't forget to come and visit me at my website, realenglishspeaker.com, where you can find my video lessons, and you can find my free audio lessons, and you can find my other lessons. If you live in Sydney, if you want to take lessons with me, or you want to take lessons on Skype, I also have an online English fluency program. So, check it out at my website. And don't forget to subscribe to my videos. Then you can get more of these. All right, guys. See you soon. See you soon.